Thanks for joining us here on the news at 430. I'm Mike Sela. Pre-trial hearings continue today for one of the defendants accused of killing his own children, two Effingham County teenagers five years ago and burying them in their backyard. Elwin Crocker Sr. is charged with two counts of malice murder and two counts of felony murder in the deaths of his son Elwin Crocker Jr. and daughter Mary Crocker. The body of the two early teenagers were found buried in their family's backyard in 2018. Our Flynn Snyder breaks down what happened in court. The second and final day in the latest round of pretrial hearings began with Judge F. Gates Peed hearing arguments about what evidence should be allowed into the trial. State prosecutors want to use text messages and email conversations between other people charged in the case. They say those messages will help show a conspiracy to harm and conceal the deaths of Mary and Elwin Jr. Um, the conspiracy is really the, the cruelty to children. It's the, the long term and abuse, torture and murder of two children that took place over years. That is the conspiracy. And that's why every text messages, every text messages they send back and forth to each other over those years dealing with the the children is relevant. Crocker's defense team pushing back, saying the state's request isn't specific enough and that their client isn't responsible for messages that other people send. Any messages that are sent from Mark Wright, Kimberly Wright, or Candace Crocker should not be permitted unless the state can prove that Mr. Crocker saw or responded to send text messages. State prosecutors also asked to include the internet searches of Crocker's brother-in-law, Mark Wright, who is also charged in Mary's death and concealing Ellen Jr.'s. Modern CPR, uh, yellow pills of death, yellow pills that kill, the effects of drinking chloride. I think those searches are intrinsic to explain the nature of the crimes to the jury and tell the whole story about what was going on in that house and how Mary Crocker died. In response, defense lawyers said those searches have nothing to do with Crocker. I don't think that this is admissible at all in Mr. Crocker's case um, because there is no allegation here that our client participated in any way, that he had any, uh, any knowledge in any way. Judge Peed heard arguments about state prosecutors wanting to include other allegations against Crocker involving violence, sexual assaults, and child molestation. They're also petitioning to use audio and visual aids during opening statements in trial. In Springfield, Flint Snyder, WTOC News.